Hey guys, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Welcome to the World Cup of Wax. Um, for those that have been following along, welcome. We're at the final 16, the knockout stages. For those that are just finding us, it works like this. We've taken 32 waxes from my collection. We've allocated them by random choice to the 32 teams in the World Cup. And we let the group stages of the World Cup decide which uh, of those waxes will go through. Now we're down here to the last 16. The last 16 will be a straight shoot off uh, sniff off style. I'm going to test the sense of the two waxes uh, and decide a winner based on my own preferences. After that we're going to have uh, some other arbitrary uh, measurements and so on um, but for this one we're going to take 16 down to 8. Let's begin. So we start with Wax 110 Montana against uh, Wax Junkies Black Friday edition. I'm going to keep this short, I'm going to keep this punchy. So it's a nice sweet uh, lemon scented one I believe it is playing against Wax 110's Montan. Now this one is a bit of a pick and mix as to what scent you'll get, because I know Nathan does mix these up. This is like a strong Parma Violets. I'm going to give the win on this one to Wax 110. Next we have another Wax 110, this one being Elysian, uh, and this one's going up against ODK, so it's almost uh, a replay of the previous match. The ODK one in this question, uh, or in this particular case, is a custom wax Dan made for me. Um, so again, not a typical scented one, but it was in my collection and it made its way into uh, the draw. So scent wise, we have on the Elysian, strawberries and cream, I know is what it technically is, I believe, but it's definitely strawberries. Very nice, very pleasant on the nostrils. Now, trump card for the wax one, uh, or sorry, for the ODK one was always going to be this. I stipulated the scent that I thought I would like the most to Dan. Um, gives it a bit of an unfair edge, I know. This one, um, I asked Dan to make it smell like cake, and he did, and I love cake. So this one, by virtue of my own choice when this was made, goes to ODK. Next up, we've got Victoria Wax Concourse against Obsession Fainer. Uh, Obsession Wax Fainer. Uh, so, Victoria Wax Concourse first. Doesn't really have a scent. Um, I mean, it smells chemically. It's, it's not been fragranced, let's, let's put it that way, uh, against the Fainer. It's a very pleasant, fruity smell, like a mango-y type of scent. I have to say, uh, on virtue of uh, the Victoria Wax not having a scent at all and just smelling like chemicals and a bit like boot polish, the win on this one has to go to Obsession Wax. Next, we have Wax Planet's White Noise against Bouncer's Check the Fleck. And the White Noise, unmistakably cherry, Bakewell, that sort of scent. Very rich, very strong, lovely. Against the Bouncer's, I actually can't remember what this one smells like, I've not opened it that long. It's a very subtle scent, and I can't really place it. One of my favorite scents for a wax is cherry. So this one goes to Wax Planet. Next we have 50 Cal Pentawax against uh, Wax Planet's Hope. And on the 50 Cal, let's have a whiff of this one. Really nothing of a particularly fragrant scent in this one. Um, smells like chemicals. And look at that. It's never been swiped. Blasphemous. I must try this. Faint uh, drumstick lolly smell. I love it. Wax Planet takes this one too. <laughs> this one I was looking forward to. Uh, wax to managed to get two waxes through also, and wouldn't you know it, they drew a head to head. So, Evo, if you guys saw the latest video that I put out, saying that it wasn't quite orangey enough. It's definitely pleasant. Just want it to be more orangey. Against Lumen. Lumen's have a slight lid error. I'll stick that back in there. And the Lumen is uh, bubblegum. Now it's certainly more pungent than the Evo, but I've never been a massive fan of bubblegum scents. I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong, they're just not high up my list. They're, you know, a little bit lower. This one, I'm going to give to Evo. Next up, we've got G3 Super Gloss Paste Wax against uh, Infinity Wax's Detailing World Edition. Now the G3, let's give this one a whiff. Very subtle, almost like a coconutty type of smell on that one. 
pleasant. More of a sweet, again, maybe a little bit more of a, a bubblegum scent on that one. Again, look at that look, unused. Again, let's get around to that. I love Infinity Waxes waxes, they're really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna give this one, this is a tough one, because. I'm gonna give it to the G3. And last but not least, Hybrid 86 from Obsession Wax against Auto Glanz's Ciara. Let's take a whiff of the Ciara first. It's like a sweet from, uh, you know, like penny sweets type of thing, like a fruit salad. Really, really sweet, really pleasant. I mean, it smells the same. It smells the same as, as White Noise from Wax Planet. I love it. I can't get enough of a cherry scented wax. This one's an easy one for me. Hybrid 86 takes the win. So there we have it, our final eight uh, heading forward on this one. Uh, the next round is presentation, uh, if memory serves. So we'll get that shot and filmed. Uh, may as well do it tonight. I'll do it, but I'll do it in, in another video. So thanks for watching on this one. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all of those things, none of those things. I love you just the same. Uh, and I'll see you again soon for the presentation video. Bye-bye.